Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add sound to your animation. Okay, so um, I have a um, simple little scene here with a blue sky background, some grass and a dog kennel with a pair of eyes inside the kennel that's supposed to be, that's supposed to belong to the dog inside the kennel. So I have two layers here, one for the dog house, or dog kennel, and one for the background. Okay, and I have keyframes on the 80th frame, so this animation is uh, 80 frames long, and I want to add a dog barking sound effect to my animation. I want the dog to bark twice during these 80 frames. Okay, so you can add your own sound effects that you wish to use, or you can add background music, it's up to you, but um, you need to make sure that the animation is long enough to contain um, the song or sound effect that you're wanting to use. So say for example you uh, have an animation that is only uh, 24 frames long, so it's one second long, yet um, you might have a song or an, a sound effect which goes for 30 seconds. Okay, so you need to make sure that that animation that you're working with is long enough to um, to insert that sound or um, song into. Okay. Now to add a sound into your animation, you need to create a new layer. So we'll create a new layer, rename it to sound. Okay. And then uh, might just add a keyframe here. Insert a keyframe at the end, just to make sure. Um, that it's running for the same length as everything else in our animation. Okay, so it's going for 80 frames. All right, now I'm going to add some sound, a bark, dog bark in around here somewhere, and then maybe around here somewhere. Okay, so it barks twice. To import the sound, we need to be on the layer that we've made just for the sound. So we want it to be separate to any other effects or objects we have in animation. So on the sound layer, um, we can go to File, Import, and then to Library. So import to Library. Pick the sound effect that we've, um, I'm going to use, which is this one. Open, and then on the Libraries um, panel over here, you will see that the sound has come up. Okay, you can double click on it, and you can test it. Okay. Um, so make sure it's working. By the way, Adobe Flash accepts MP3, um, WAV, AEC, and a number of other different audio formats, but I'm using a WAV file. Okay, so click OK. Now all I need to do is insert a keyframe where I want this sound effect to begin. So if I want it to begin on the 15th frame, I can insert a keyframe there, and I need to be on that layer that I'm using and at that particular keyframe. So I need to be on that keyframe where I want the sound to begin. And I need to drag it on to the stage. So not onto the timeline, but onto the stage. Okay. And it won't actually show up on the stage because sound is um, not a visible object. But if you go onto your timeline, you'll see that it's added a sound wave here. Okay, so between the 15th and 25th frame, there's a little sound wave there, which shows us that there's a sound playing at that part of the animation. So click on play. You can hear that the dog barks or starts barking on the 15th frame. So I'll turn my sound up a bit. I hope you can hear it. Okay, all right. Now if I want to get the dog to bark again around about the 50th frame. I can insert another keyframe and make sure that I'm still on that keyframe that I've got it selected and drag that audio file back onto the stage again. All right. Click on play from the beginning. Okay, so our dog barks twice. Um, all right, so that's how to add a sound effect into an animation. You can add music, sound effects, whatever you like, um, but I'm 
quickly just going to show you a website that you can use to download free um, sound effects for your animation and that is freesound.org okay so this website uh, you can sign up for a free account you can search for different sound effects and then you can download them so this is the sound effect that I've used for my animation it's free to use um, but you can search for whatever sound effects you like so um, you might be using a dog bark or you might want to use a frog um, croaking or anything like that all right whatever sound you want search for on here um, and then once you've found one that you like you can test it here listen to it and click on download save it to a folder on your computer and then that's when you go into flash click on file import and then import to library um, to be able to use it in your animation okay once it's up in the library over here you can just drag it on to the stage all right so that is basically how to use okay see you next time thanks for watching